Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing TNT Limitless 3. And uh, first thing I want to do today is uh, see if we can do a little bit better with our armor. Now these are uh, an improvement over the obsidian boots, and we're also going to make the helmet. And it looks like we have enough to make the other two pieces. So we're just going to do that too. Hello. Oh no, we're one short. Okay, that's okay. Dragon scale away. We'll put this away because we're not going to use it. I want to get better enchantment on some of this stuff too. So we're going to disenchant our katana and our leggings. And why not our bow, too? Now we're probably going to need some lapis. Hold on up here. I added some more bookshelves to see if we can get over level 30. We'll need some, some different stuff first. So let's see what we can get here. We can get uh, Beheading 3, which is tempting. Um, Unbreaking 3, which I think is what we're going to do. Uh, we got Hops 3, I don't need that. Um, mana Boost 3, that's okay. Teleportation, I don't really need that. Tombstone Soulbound, don't really need that. So, both Mana Boost. <laughs> Maybe we'll take the fire protection. Alright. Okay, gloom or magnet. I don't really want detonation. Unbreaking three is tempting. Why are we if this is just a normal bow? We should uh seven two, beheading two. I think I'm probably do a little better than a normal bow, huh? Well, there are fancy bows, but most of the ones that we'd be interested in are in reach. Let's see. I'm almost tempted to get the beheading, but we'll go with unbreaking. Uh, that's all we got. Blast protection 4 or the unbreaking is tempting. Unbreaking 3? Anything else? Oh, okay. Life steal and beheading. That's not bad. So at the end, we'll take regular protection free. That's fine. And we're going to clear out this fellow first. He's made our life difficult in several ways. Mostly he's just in the way. Get a little closer. That he has no lair. Do you see me yet? Now you see me. Wonder how many uh, how many health he's got. All right, we'll be back. All right. Had a ton of health. Let's see if we can get any of our arrows back. Probably not. That's okay. The real reason we're here, what we're really here for, is up ahead. We should be fairly well protected against uh, Dragon Breath. I think this guy's in trouble anyway. Let's just, can we get down to where he... Okay, now we're hitting him. Can you not get up? Am I lagged out? Yes, I am. Come on, you can get up out of there. I swear he came for me last time. Let's see if I got over here. 
Here he comes. There we go. Boy, he's not doing a very good job, is he? What happens if we come down here and just like take a post? Oh, I was on top of him. Like, I was... I was riding him for a second. Ah! Got him! Very nice. Now let's see what all we have over here. It looks like quite a bit. This should uh, solve our gold problem rather handily. I mean, it looks like. We'll see how much there is. Okay, more manuscripts, more chains. More manuscripts. We'll have to make the book and stuff when we get back. Definitely take all of that. Is there more gold? Looks like that's, that's it under here. Oh no, there's a little bit more back here. Cool, cool. And then there's definitely more stuff up top here. Oh, I can hear those death worms. <laughs> yeah, alright, doesn't look like anything too spectacular, but we did get the quest for uh, killing the dragon. That's a couple more scales, and an amount of gold that I'm not complaining about. A little bit more gold. A little bit more gold. Cool. Out here looking for a cactus. This is oh my! Look at the size of that death worm. I saw it. Where is it? Still alive, right? Come on up. Where are you? Oh well, well. I guess we lost it. Anyway, back up here. Well, that was a big one. These are from Ice and Fire. This, uh, dirt really does, uh, spawn ghosts at night. And it's a fun way to get them. Witherers over here. That's nice. This is a death worm, like right outside. But uh, in here is a cursed chest. I've never fallen victim to the curse. I've always just uh, broken the chest, and it's fine. Oh, there's another wither over here. That's nice. So let's see. Oh, it all went in there. Oh, that's fine. We'll take the first chest with us, the black plasm. Here we go. Fine. Oh, there's a. That's not the one I saw before. Oh, that's a rattlesnake. Hey. Right. Well, there's some more cactus. Alright, hey, moving on. Camp on a village out here. There's another huge dragon skeleton. And some more cactus, which is really what we're out here for. It's a big one, isn't it?
Let's see what the uh, stage skull that is. Come on, Bank, open up. Yep, that's a stage five. That's the, that's the biggest they get. We've been fighting stage threes. I think we've come upon an actual lair, this desert mirror map. Oh. That's quite a poison. Let's see if there's any more of them over here. I'm sure there are. Well, this is probably a terrible idea, huh? I don't really have any anything to use for torches or night vision, but I'd like to get a look. Ho ho! That's the queen. I think it's stuck down there. I'll take it. Alright. All right. See if we can get down there and hit it in the head. Really wants to eat. It really wants to hit me. I'm not having too much trouble hitting it. <laughs> kind of just spinning around. All right, we'll be back once I've killed it. Okay, we got it. There's some more down here. I don't know if there's a treasure besides the uh, clean props. Come on. Well, these guys have a lot of hit points, don't they? Alright, let's see. That's probably it, huh? This looks like a lair. Oh, a Miramax egg. Okay. It's a random spider. Alright, let's get out of here. See what all we picked up. So we got spider chitin, spider head, desert miramax egg, blitzmode, soul gems, desert miramax chitin, chitin, and this we definitely need some wither bones. Alright, so I've been working my way through the seeds here, making uh, what we can, and the tier 4 essence is expensive. You'll notice that doesn't work. It takes uh, twice as much as normal to make the interior, and that's uh, that's something we're gonna have to do something about. Let's see what we got? Yeah, we're gonna do another line of seeds. And we'll just put them down on the far side. And if and when we run out of room here, we can take those up. Because if and when we run out of room, we'll probably have enough of this stuff. Anyway, here's our first tier 4 seat. See our gold seats. Very fancy. Nice. 
can see we've already got a good amount of these. So we've got a couple quests to clean up here. Um, we need quartz and rich iron and silicon, mostly for the seed. Um, okay. We got another kind of fire dragon skull and red dragon scales. So that's cool. Is that it? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Infernium. Prudentium, Tertium, we have Prosperity Ingus, Solium, Solium, Prudentium Essence, and Infusion Crystal. Look at all this. We got a lot of the magic mystical agriculture quest line done here. What's all this? We got different stuff for each set of... <laughs> each set of armor? Wow. Okay. Got all the loot bags for our seed reprocessors here. We're gonna need to make a garbage chest. All the stuff we have. Treasure chest. There's another one in here somewhere. There we go. We found two more rings. Ten levels. Okay. Let's do ten levels. Another loot bag. We upgraded our deck. I think that's finally it. Um. Hey, emeralds! Use those to buy some seeds. Okay, since we have metal barrels, I'm gonna go ahead and make an I don't know what this is barrel. Hello. So, what we can do is uh, we got a regular barrel, make an iron one, and upgrade to gold. Ender barrel? What's a crystal barrel? Okay. And then upgrade to diamond. I think the uh, the advancements past that are just cosmetic. And we'll just put it right here. Get all this stuff. I have no idea what it is or what it does. Okay, so this is almost certainly going to be uh, more than we can handle inventory-wise. So we'll start with eight. Oh, some of this is definitely useful. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this engineer's workbench and find a home for it. I think we're going to find a home for it right here. That's just fine. And another ice dragon heart. What do you know about that? Well, that's interesting. We've got a living wood hoe. We've got a storage downgrade. Don't expect to use that. Uh, we got bear leggings. Blazerite leggings, huh? Immune to fire damage? Huh. Six and three versus six and three. I might use those. Let's see what else we have? Something I don't know. Bucket. Keep the water bucket, why not? More narcissus. We're gonna have to look at I think they produce based on slime. Um, I feel like we've gotten, well, we got gotten two. Um, oh, fancy crafting table. Made out of fancy wood. Let's take a look. Yeah, nice and purple. Oh, what is this? Is that a lizard? Hey! We got a lizard. Nice. Got a dark oak podium. 
Let me go put that up there. Put that book on it. Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Now, probably the fanciest thing we want is that. Oh, it's my lizard. Hello, lizard. You gonna climb the wall? You gonna climb the wall. Probably the most interesting thing is this block of Tyrian steel from Silence. Um, it's tier 4. Armor durability is something else. Harvest level quite high. Attack damage. Base. Eight. Boy, that looks like it would make a heck of a pick, huh? The armor durability looks like it's really something else, too. We're just going to hang on to this stuff for the time being. What's the... See, this is... What mining tier is it? Mining level dying. Well, it doesn't really stay here, but harvest level 5? Probably. For range damage times 4. Boy, oh, that's really, 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 really something. Can't ability so much. Other than that, though, that's a great metal. Okay, that'll complete us another quest. The Puff Shroom. When in offhand, releases poison. What else do we have here? We got a Magician Blood Orb. Wow. We'll buy this right away. That's cool. In addition to some pretty cool armor, <laughs> we got some deep blue sea serpent scales. Which are quite nice, and they'll finish that quest for us. Uh, nothing else too particularly exciting or that I know what it is. So, that crystal shovel is really nice. That's like. And the game cyclic stuff. We're definitely going to be getting into cyclic later. Now, of course, we completed a few more quests just by opening up all those blue bags. Okay. Another loot bag key. And we got some more gear from Craft and Hunt. That's cool. Okay. What do we got here? Some kind of a raft upgrade? Refined storage infinity rain booster. That's for. Ooh, food repair kit. That's not useful to us at this time. <laughs> That's going to be handy, though, if we get into refined storage. We've got two mods that will do auto crafting for us. Refined storage is one of them. I've been doing that a lot. We might use Applied Energy to pack. So, we have several cosmetic mods. One of them is this Macaws Suite. And what it basically lets you do is make uh, all kinds of everything. We already use the, uh, the windows and the parapets, but there's also doors, roofs, or furniture mod that I don't think this pack has. What we're going to do is uh, make a bunch of these Cottage trap door prints. They're just a spruce trap door and a little bit of paper. And make ourselves a. It's not going to be enough, is it? Not really sure how many we're going to need. Um, basically, you can get uh, any. Trapdoor texture with any trapdoor skin from Vanilla. And it's pretty useful if you've got a style of trapdoor that you like for a certain kind of thing. Like the spruce ones, the spruce color would look a little, would be a little too light. 
against the rest of the wood. There we go. We'll have to make a few more, but you get the idea. Now the next thing we want to do here is, uh, we got two kitchen options. We're going to go with cooking for blockheads instead of, uh, instead of Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod because this has the, uh, the auto crafting <laughs> capability. So what we got to do, we got to take a book Hello. and we got to smelt it. Right? Right. Do you have any books around? We'll make a book. And you can do this in any smelter. The, uh, the electric furnace from Silence will work just fine. There we go. And what we gotta do is first upgrade it to volume 2. Now this, this will just show, uh... Well, we don't have anything to craft with. I thought it just showed what you could make. But yeah. It's been long before. The second tier book will let you auto craft, and then we're gonna build it into a block that will become the heart of our auto crafting kitchen. Whoops, that's the wrong book. There we go. Now finally, we take this, we craft it with some terracotta and some stone, and we get our, uh, our main block. Just like so. And we'll put it down right here. Now anything connected to this table um, that's from the mod, and it does have an integration with a few other mods like that, um, We'll be able to use this to uh, do do auto crafting for food, just food. I already have a use for this water bucket. These sinks are oh, we just need a little bit of iron. These sinks are great. Um, you can use them as infinite water sources. You can pump water out of them, and uh, they give you a good amount of water. I use these quite a bit, basically whenever I need some water. Well, we'll pop it down right here, and we're going to make a couple counters. And we're going to make two corners. There we go. <clears throat> and the corners are just, uh, just nice looking corner pieces for this. Do I have a turn this? Yeah. The cabinets we craft with chests and they have they have an inventory. Now the next thing we're gonna want is the stove. That'll allow us to do some cooking. Now to make the sink we'll need some black glass. And for that we're gonna need some black dye. We don't have any. So we are gonna make a mortar and a pestle from Batania. Um, oh, you can make it out of, uh, oh, that's another one. That's another mod. Now, I think, okay, you use the petals. And then you can craft a petal from the flower with your mortar and pestle and get the dye. And there's some black stained glass that we can use for the stove. What else do we need? Some iron and a furnace. Not too bad. There we go. Now you can actually cook with this thing. Uh, once we have it all set up, I'll try to demonstrate. Um, right now it just takes fuel. You can install an upgrade that will allow us to use RF or FE or, or whatever it is that, uh, whatever energy you have. Now we're also going to make a couple of refrigerators, and these are just chests and iron doors. Very cool. 
Now these are these are just inventory that you can craft from, but they have upgrades. Um, you can get snow and ice out of them, which lets you craft all the smoothies and so on. And you can also put these preservation chambers in there, which will always leave one of an item that's in the fridge, in the fridge. Now we're just going to pop them down right here. Very good. Now the fridge isn't connected to the sink here, right, or to the, uh, to the cooking table right now. We're going to take care of that with the floor that the mod gives us. Now we could make the kitchen floor with concrete, but uh, we're not going to. What we're going to do is we're going to take some quartz blocks and some coal blocks. And this will give us, hopefully, enough. Probably not quite enough, but we'll see. Sadly, you can't do this with, uh, you can't turn these into slabs. I wish you could. Now, the mod also adds these, uh, these kitchen cabinets, and these are, uh, these look quite nice. When they're running along the ceiling like that, that's some more inventory for the kitchen. We're going to want at least two tool racks. And these we're going to put... Actually, we should probably do one more, huh? Because right now, these cabinets aren't connected. But one more tool rack will do. Okay, now all these cabinets are connected to the multi-block. So another inventory you can make is uh, this fruit basket which is quite nice. Um, all of these things, you can sort of just barely see the bowl in there. All of these things actually show, although it's, it's difficult to tell in some of them. But the fruit basket is uh, quite obvious and quite nice. So if we just throw a bunch of this stuff up in here, put some in the refrigerator, Fine. Now, if we right-click our cooking table, we can see everything we can make with uh, with what we just threw in there. It's not a lot yet, but uh, we don't have that much stuff in here. So now that we're a little more geared up, I thought we'd go take a look at whatever this dungeon was down here. Polished lava stone. Oh, this must be a structure from extended cave. I see all the uh, the little pots. There we go. Paid to this thing. Is that all that's here? I guess so. I hear a zombie villager somewhere. Oh, there's a little piece of obsidian. Oh, there's a zombie villager. Oh, she's stuck in here. Where, where did he go? There he is. Come here, you. You're gonna die. Alright. Let's see what's, uh, what's in the pots here. Pretty lucrative. They buried him with his string and his emeralds and his carrots, and death has in life. Okay, found a little randomite. Never know what you're gonna get. A little lapis? A little more lapis. We randomly got some lapis. What's all this? Oh, it's a whole cave. I didn't even notice. See if there's anything cool in the cave. Well, give me that hammer back. Oh, oh it does go a little ways. Well, we'll see. If he found one of these Jung's better mine shafts. 
check it out real quick. Got some scorias. All kinds of vines. Oh, there's one of these. That's a mob from my Dolan. I had a torches. A lot of torches. Also, I only have three sticks, but I think you can get sticks. Yeah, you can get sticks from this petrified root from the Forbidden and Iconis. Not, I don't <clears throat> have not explored that much yet. Look at this guy. Does he know I'm here? Hello. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh! I was just gonna say, after much searching, we finally found a chest, and then I got interrupted by a zombie. Let's see. Ooh, fancy! Take the manuscript. Another zombo. What else do we have? The Architect's Inkwell. Interesting. Eye light, golden apple. Bucket of suspicious stew. That's not sanitary. Little cloth, extra cloth, some bat wings, and some amber. Alright, let's get out of here. Three, two, one. Run! Whoops, I'm stuck in my bushes. There we go. Hey, let's try this bucket of what we're telling ourselves is stew that we found in a box underground. Ah! So oh, delicious. Found another dragon skeleton. See what happened to this guy. It's just not. Very good at flying. Nice. I like a dragon skull. Cool. Now there's this, yeah, this thing. What is it? Tell me that doesn't look like a woodland mansion to you, except it's all made out of, like, acacia. And, uh, dark oak. I think we're going to have to investigate, y'all. Let's see what we have. Do the first floor first. I've never been in a mansion before, normal or, or otherwise, so... Oh! Flowers, desk for very big people, I suppose. What's all this business? We got a tree. Just an acacia tree. What else do we have? We got cells. Oh! And here's Johnny. So, is anybody in the cell? Uh, just like little jail cells. I knew it. The villagers are cops. That's why they're so mean. Like everybody poop in a toilet? Terrible. Supposedly, there's a block of lapis in here. There's just acacia logs here. Dolomite. Maybe it's not in these modern ones. What's all this? 
A random stairwell? Alright, this is plenty weird. It just kind of like... Keeps... Oh, there's a chest! And we got some garbage. That's fancy, though. Iron ring, plus one armor. Name tag, I like a name tag. I can hear all those villagers. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is the one with the, the lapis inside it. You should normally have lapis, but maybe something else. This is, this is a modded one, so you never know. Nah, it's lapis. Oh, that's right, our pick's broke, and we forgot to fix it before we left. Yeah, let's see what else is in there. Got all kinds of chests here. Nothing in them. and see if this keeps going. Well, it comes back around that way. I haven't been that way. I haven't been that way. And this what comes back around to the front? I think. Yeah. So let's check these out. See them all on top of <laughs> Oh, we're out of torches. You know what? We're just gonna run home. And gear up and come back. Alright, we're back. We're gonna check out another one of these. We got. Looks like uh, another storeroom. Maybe it's as empty as the last one. Literally nothing in that storeroom. So let's head up to the second floor and make, make sure we didn't miss anything down here first. Like, it looks like we missed this room. Which is... what? Is it? There's a chest! What do you suppose it is? Like a prototype trebuchet? I don't know. Okay, here's stuff. Tomes. That's probably all important. That's probably not important. We have one of these. Impaling 5, Punch 2, and Power 5. That'll be nice. These ancient tomes from Quark always have the, the max, whatever enchantment it is. It will be at max level. Okay, we got this room. All hail the tulip. Okay, second floor for real. I don't know what the best approach here. Oh, there's an eclipse. Dudes everywhere. Hey, you guys friendly? I don't think they're friendly. Very antisocial. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is... Just a room with a table. Not complaining about all the emeralds. What's this? Just sort of, uh... Kind of an architectural feature, I guess. Oh, here's a famous map room. Oh, that's an evoker. We better take care of this dude. Hey, we got the totem. That's cool. 
Sounds like there's another one going to town somewhere. Is there anything behind all these books? Normally I wouldn't engage in such vandalism, but, uh, you know, these guys just kind of came at me. <laughs> Another evoker. None of them seem very good at it. <laughs> Some kind of gigantic business here. I don't know what it's all about. Pretty easy to stick off. Is this another evoker? No, that's a vindicator with no uh Looks like these guys are trying to learn about dragons. Oh and there's two of them. This might actually be an issue. Vexes. Come here, here. Not one. Oh, they managed to summon a whole bunch of them. They seem like they're kind of stuck though, don't they? Kind of stuck up against the walls? I wonder what's up with that. The evokers weren't very good at attacking either. I mean, I'm not complaining about all these totems as I'm dying. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Stage 2 dragon. I don't think we have any stage 2 dragon heads yet. Let's see what else is in here. A really large bed. Banner. Alright, we'll be back. And one of them was finally good at attacking in the Vex got us. That's okay. We got our ghostly shape, we got our ghostly shape. We'll teleport right back. Use our key on our grave here. We got all our- oh, all the Vexes are gone! Still got all those totems though. Let's have fun fighting those Vexes. We did lose, uh, about a 115 levels, <laughs> but that's what you get when you just kind of go in guns blazing here. Um, now let's see, we have a death waypoint that we can get rid of. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I have to keep a closer eye on our health here. Okay, I think I've found our stairs up to the third floor here. Oh yes I have. Whew. I don't know what's up here. Or why I can't seem to hit that guy. There we go. Go ahead and uh, see what else awaits us in, up in here, if anything. I hear a lot of noise. Um. Yeah, here's another one. He's just kind of... Oh, oh, that's a Vindicator. Vindicators seem fine. The Evokers 
seem like they're a little glitched. So I flew up here. I think there's a ladder that I didn't see. Um, but we got another chest with a bunch of random stuff. None of it looks that interesting, really. Let's see if there's anything down in this little closet. Or if this is just... Just for show? I think it's just for show. Okay, I think that's the end of it. <laughs> Boy, we were really just looking for a cow. And there we go. Well, that was a heck of a detour. Now what we want here is, first of all, we want a bucket of milk. Hope I remembered everything. <laughs> I'm supposed to have some glass somewhere. I don't see any. <laughs> oh, I got completely distracted by all that. You may have to run back home again quick if I don't have this stuff on me, which it doesn't look like I do. Now what we wanted with the bucket of milk is to make a milk jar. <laughs> and you can store milk in this stuff, but there is a better use for it. What you can do is you want to put the milk jar kind of down. And then you want to get a cow standing right on top of it. And I find a little hole is about the best way to do this. All right, you look at it. There's no more wheat. No more wheat. Get out of here. You bother. So you got the cow standing on top of the milk jar. You take an anvil, and you place it above the cow, and it smooshes the cow into the jar. So what you now have is a cow in a jar from cooking for blockheads. Now what you can do is take it and slap it right down on your multi-block. You can see a little bit of milk collecting in the bottom already there. And, oh, there's a, there's a progress bar on it. Nice. So it'll hold 32 buckets full of milk. It'll regenerate itself, and then you have access to the milk from your cooking table to do all your cooking. With. So uh, we went in a couple of <laughs> random directions there, but we got the kitchen built at least. So uh, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.